Hey guys, welcome to Chase Out to the Right Price. I just ventured two and a half hours to Ohio. There is a new video game store um, for the franchise I like that just opened up here like a week or two ago. And I'm gonna check it out. It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. I got a bunch of trade in. So, two of these bins I brought to the other shop earlier in the week. Um, and there was the stuff they didn't take, but then there's two bins that are fresh stuff that haven't been gone through any store. Good thing about this store is it has different owners, so probably different systems of which stuff they will take. And they have a 50% um, credit bonus for trading right now since they're new. So I made the venture. Looks like it's a pretty huge store, so let's go check it out. All right, guys, so that store is amazing. I'm not done yet. Um, I just kind of did a quick breeze and got all of the no-brainer deals that they have. I love it when they open one of these stores. They usually just stock it with just awesome games at awesome prices. You saw um, Dragon Quest for PS2, Dragon Quest 8 for $5.99 complete. I mean, that's just incredible. And there's a lot of, like, you know, like your um, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom for like five ninety nine complete. That's a good deal. Um, there's some pretty cool complete games for the Sega, like Mutant League Football. At least has the case. Um, they like put some wrapping around it, um, but sixteen ninety nine. So that is just awesome. And I'm pretty sure I have the cartridge for that. I don't think I have the case. So like, there's some really cool Genesis stuff that's going to go to the collection some other nice little gems in there too so man that store is huge it's really cool so I'm excited to come back but I gotta get lunch because I'm super hungry 1203 I have not eaten so I will be back alright guys so after lunch there was a pawn shop on the way back to the video game store and I got a pretty sweet pickup I picked up the Pokemon 2DS XL which is one that I do not have and it's got a screen protector, looks like since day one. It is minty fresh with the box. And it was 68 bucks. So that's awesome. Picked up the Nyko Perfect Shot, look out for that. Two dollars. It's worth about 10 to 20 on Amazon or eBay. And then I'm always in need of Wii Sports Resort for my Wii bundles. And that was only three bucks. And then Rock Band 3, complete for ten dollars. And they forgot to put the disc in, so I gotta go back. <laughs> but yeah, nice little pickups. It took them about four hours to go through the trade-in, which I kind of expected. I'm kind of used to that. 
uh, me and Matt Crawdad went to a different dish traders um, last week, brought in five bins, it took them about five hours. In that one we got 524 trade-in, which is incredible, because it's just, you know, sports PS2 games and Xbox 360 cheapies and that kind of stuff. And then this one I brought four bins, two of which had already been gone through at the previous dish trader stuff that they didn't take, and they ended up taking a lot of it. So out of the four bins, they took essentially two and a half bins worth of stuff, and I got $400 trade-in, which is amazing. Um, I didn't expect to get nearly that much just because, you know, some of it had already been gone through. And I got a hundred and, I think he said 103 games at, at great prices, most of them. 17 of the games were free because they have buy five, get the sixth. So it was an incredible day, an incredible stop. It was absolutely worth the two and a half drive, two and a half hour drive. I'm going to show you guys everything I got when I get home just because it's so much. But I'm very, very happy with the trip, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got when I get home. Alright guys, here's the receipt for everything that I picked up. Grand total. Originally came to over 900, but then they added on the free items from the buy five, get the six free. Brought it down to 726. After the credit, I ended up paying three twenty-five. So let's go to the light box to see what I picked up. All right, guys. So clearly, it was an incredible store, an incredible day. I'm so glad I made the trip. So I'm just gonna go down the list and kind of name off what I got. So we got Art of Fighting Anthology Complete for six dollars. Crash Twin Sanity Complete six. Capcom Classic Collection Volume 2 for 5. Dragon Rage was $3.99. Dark Watch complete for 6. Dark Cloud. Pretty much everything is complete, so I won't say that. Is uh, $5. Dragon Quest 8. Showed that one live. $6. NFL Street 2 for 13 on GameCube. Uh, Musashi on PS2 for 6. Gauntlet. PS2 for 4. SSX Tricky for 6. Yu Yu Yakusho. For five, Rugrats Royal Ransom for six, Star Wars Battlefront for four, Midnight Club three, six dollars, Crash of the Titans Wii for eight, Crash Wrath of Cortex for five, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, I've mentioned to look out for that one before, six dollars, Sega Genesis Collection for five, The SpongeBob Movie on PS2 for six, G1 Jockey three for five, Star Wars Battlefront two for five, Scooby Doo Unmasked. Ultimate Spider-Man, Metro Palace Mania 2, I Ninja, NHL His 2003, one of my favorite games ever, and then Superman, The Death and Return of Superman on Genesis, complete for 30. That's a sweet one, that one's staying in the collection on the bottom. We've got Castlevania, Curse of Darkness, Star Wars Jedi Knight Academy, Fusion Frenzy, The Bigs 2, Avatar of the Burning Earth, look out for that one on Xbox 360, Splatterhouse, that one's like... I couldn't believe the price on this one. Three ninety nine. Hot Wheels World's Best Driver for eight. Indianapolis five hundred Evolution for four. Damage Inc. World of Outlaws Sprint Cars thirty five. That was a pretty valuable game there. Psychonauts. Uh, Star Wars Kotor one and two. Hulk on PS two. Pokemon Channel. Guitar Hero Metallica on PS two. That's one to look out for as well. Champion Jockey on PS three. Shadow of the Classes for five bucks, great deal on that complete game. Spyro got a couple of them on PS2. Prison Break was eight. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Five D's Dual Trancer on the Wii. Xeno Saga, Rocky, Back to the Future, DBZ Budokai Tenkaichi two for twelve. How to Train Your Dragon two, Fishing Resort, pretty uncommon game for thirty. Wii Fit Plus as a bundler. No More Heroes Complete is a great deal for six. Wii Sports Resort, another bundle, bundler, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Wheelie Breakers on the Wii for $3. So some great stuff there. All right, now let's go to PSP. We've got Dead Leaves for $2. That's kind of uncommon. Afterburner, all of these are complete. The Simpsons, Namco Museum, 
Marvel trading card game, Dissidia Final Fantasy, Title Legends, $3, good deal. Scooby-Doo 12, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force, that's an incredible deal for 12 bucks, and it is complete and minty fresh. Atari Classics Evolved for 8 Over to DS and PS1, we got Tech Mobile Kickoff for $3.99. Actually, he changed all the $3.99s to $2.99, I don't really know why. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, $2.99. Mech Assault, Phantom War, Star Trek, Pokemon Rumble Blast for 12 CTR was 10 Panzer General was 10 Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, $12.99. Rayman, 6 Dragon Ball G GT, Final Bout, that one was $6.99. And then Star Wars Demolition was $6.99. Alright, and back here we've got Doom Troopers. Uh, complete for forty. Um, got the Super Challenge Baseball Atari for two dollars. Those aren't sealed; they're just in the original box, and they resealed them. Demon Attack, five dollars. Armor Ambush for five dollars. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, complete in box, not the original seal. That sticker is under the seal. Thirty dollars, and then this is the box only to. Um, Clay Fighter 2, which I did think it was the complete inbox game, but it was only five bucks, so I'm all right with that. Okay, and now we got the freebies, and the freebies are incredible. I normally <laughs> they don't give you so many expensive freebies as part of the buy five get the six, but in this case we got some awesome ones. So Mario Golf from 25 to zero complete inbox. Godzilla destroy all monsters melee for from 17 to 0. Stubbs the zombie not complete but 20 to 0. Ultimate Alliance special edition $0. I mean, this is incredible Jurassic Park the game 20 to 0. This one super rare amazing find. Look this one up on eBay. It was marked at 17 even at that it's amazing but it was free. Breath of Fire 3 free. This is an Uncommon Sports game, 2-on-2 two two Open Ice on PS1, free. Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai, free. Hi. Chuck E. Cheese's Super Collection, another Uncommon one, was free. Metal Slug Anthology, The Incredible Hulk. Tatsunoku, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, free. So you can see how much I saved, since these are all so expensive, but I got them for free. One Piece Unlimited Adventure. Mutant League Football. And I did check the collection. For whatever reason, I only have the case to this. No game or manual. And this has the game and manual. That was marked at 17, but rang up for free. General Chaos. And Zoids Battle Legends. So it was an incredible store, an incredible day. Definitely probably my best video game store trip of all time. Bar will do. Thank you guys for watching Chase After the Right Price. We truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe right here. Go ahead and do that. It would be awesome. And when you subscribe, hit that little bell so you can get the notifications because every Friday we put out a new video at 4 p.m. If you don't hit the bell, you won't get notified. So hit that and you'll get the notification. Also, guys, be sure to check us out on all social media. The links are below in the description. And have a great week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.